when I started drawing, like maybe at the age of five, I was drawing stuff like this. Stick men looking like this stuff, you know? Because I had an uncle in the penitentiary and we used to go visit him. You know, I used to see things like this. You know, violence and stuff, I saw all that, so I was drawing that kind of stuff. I saw people get killed and robbed and selling dope, so I would draw that. And my grandma was like, look, baby, you can't draw that because people see it and they think you're talking about them and they want to do you something. You know, and then so when I got the bell, my seventh grade year, I started drawing the bands. Was I, you know, I, I used to see them. Was I remember I wanted to march in a band, but I, I had no talent for that. The band director told me, Mr. Richardson, he said, "Look, Bruce, it's either this, either you go flunk this class or you go get out of this class." You know, I figured if I couldn't play in the band, you know, at least I could try to, to show people about our band. I wanted to be a part of that, that respect and that power and that dignity. They, they want love. People want love. Anybody want love. And if they can't find love in the right place, they go get it in the wrong place. And that wrong place might, might take them somewhere where they, want, they don't want to be. I have like 10 cousins, you know, in the penitentiary. And that's, that's it, man. That's my circle. And I get letters from them. Hey, Bruce, man, look, stay out of trouble. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't, you know, you know man, I, I, need, I need this, I need that. And I'd be like, man. So I got to stay on the outside to make everything strong, you know? Because if I'm not here, those same 10 individuals that's locked up and them same kids that looking at, these, at this art, hey, it'll be lost, man. And I'll be held accountable for that, a lost generation.